Father, Lord Jesus, we are lifting up our voices. We are lifting up our hands this morning, Lord, in worship, in thanksgiving, in appreciation, Father, for what you have been doing for us. Lord, we testify and we confess this morning that you, you are doing much more than what uh, we have been asking, Lord Jesus. Jere, jy doen baie, baie meer as wat ons gevra het, jere. En ons wil vir jy sê, baie, baie, baie dankie. Baie dankie daarvoor, Lord. Thank you, thank you so much for being there for us, Lord. In time of sickness, in times of stress, in times of uh, financial crises, in times of... Uh, spiritual help lord you are there when the storm is at its worst that's the time when you are coming on the scene and we are very much thankful this morning that you are with us and that we can sense your presence and that we can be part of you this morning lord we ask a special blessing upon the word and the rest of the week you gave us a little platform yesterday lord and we are looking forward for a tremendous time of great blessings out of your word may you bless us bless your children out there lord bless them and undertake for them humbly we ask all of these things in the name of jesus christ we pray amen and amen beloved bride children of the most high we want to say shalom we want to say god bless you oh my i'm so excited about the rest of the week you know just to say something to encourage uh, somebody out there we we don't have much education or i wish i had the vocabulary you know to be able to bring this little inspiration this little text over to you but i'm trusting the lord that for the next few days that we will completely dedicate our lives to the cause of the gospel and this subject that we are handling here is much much you know bigger than what we ever can imagine and ever thought i I spoke to my wife yesterday. I said to her, "You know what, sweetheart? I'm not sure that I will be able to finish this subject in the next few days. You know, but we will just see how God lead us. Because the more we read, the more we study, the more we dig into the Word of God, there's more and there's more because He is the inexhaustible fountain of life." Hallelujah and the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter Philippians we read together in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and many many other scriptures we will also pick up but let us just go quickly I would like to say as much as possible this morning Philippians chapter 4 the Bible says but my God but my God isn't that wonderful Look at the confidence the man of God speaks here. And there is what is important for me and you this morning. You know is not to lose confidence. Ons moet nie vertroue in die Here verloor nie. Daar is baie dinge rondom ons. There's many many things happening around us that can easily Amen. Make us to lose confidence in our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, "But my God, my God, that's the confidence we will be talking about this morning, shall supply all your needs, all our needs." This is a personal scripture to you. Here is scrip is persoonlik vir u vanmorgen, my broer, my suster, jong mense. Dis is personal. 
but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? And I want to say this morning, my brothers and sisters, I, I, I looked and, and uh, tried to find out what does the word all means. Amen. Hallelujah. It means, it means, amen, everything. It means to be unlimited. Oh my. And, and this is what makes this subject so beautiful is that we are talking about the inexhaustible fountain of life. And I want to just underline a few things before we pray this morning. And I'm trying and I'm trusting that by the end of this week, amen, that you will be on such a beautiful position and that God has restored that confidence in all of us. The Heere het ons vertrouwen, amen, geherstel in allemaal van ons. That by the end of the week, that we will be on such a positive note, especially in this very, very difficult time. God's power not only exceeds what we ask, it exceeds what we think, what we imagine, what we can dream possibly about. Oh my, I looked, amen, and I tried to find out what does the word exceeds means. And this is very important. I want to just say it again that the God's power, the power of God, not just only exceeds what we ask, but it exceeds also what we think, what we imagine, and what we can possibly dream. You can imagine, brothers and sisters, and I want us to keep this in memory, how, 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 how powerful the Word of God is and how much God has in store for each one of us. We will take it slow this week. We will take it slow. But I want to say, like we said yesterday, is that remember that we are surrounded by an inexhaustible fountain of life. There is no limit to the resources of God. And I want to say you by the grace of God that in the next few days we will realize why we are saying that there is no limit to this inexhaustible fountain of God. It is very, very much important. Now consider all that you and I and all the people, amen, through all God and all the generations. And that is where we would like to say and where we would like to underline it this morning. You can imagine that you, my brother, myself, everybody in South Africa, all over the globe, and now we're also talking about the generations before us. How much those people has pondered and how they praise the name of the Lord and how they have requested the help and how those people through those generations, generation after generation, how they have drink from this inexhaustible fountain of life. Os moenie vergeet dat voor onze generatie was daar ook andere generaties wat ook gedrink het van hier diezelfde fontein. And we must not forget that before this generation there were many, many other generations before us and all those people has also drink from the very fountain that we are talking about here this morning. We are not pointing you to a different fountain. We are pointing you to the very same fountain, hallelujah, that they have been drinking from, like the woman at the well, the woman with the blood issue, 
the woman, hallelujah, the Shunammite woman, hallelujah, the widow woman, those people right through the Bible ages has drink from the very same resource that we are drinking this morning. And that is why I said the power of God exceeds our thinking. It exceeds what we think. It exceeds what we can ever possible desire. It is much, much bigger. It is much, much bigger than what we ever can imagine or comprehend. Hallelujah. In this life and in this journey that we are in this morning. Even our words, amen, are not strong enough to be able to express the value or the context, the contents of this inexhaustible fountain of life. But as the servant of God, I want to just bring it to your attention that in 10 million years, like we said, the prophet says we can live 10 million years on this earth. We can never dry up this inexhaustible fountain of life. So your need, your, your, your situation and what you come short and what you are requesting from God, hallelujah, even if it looks so impossible, God is more than able to supply what you are asking this morning. What we ask, it exceeds what we think, what we can ever, a possible dream. Hallelujah. God, consider all that you and the people of God, every generation, hallelujah, have requested in prayer. Hallelujah. And how God has supplied all the needs of those people right through the generations. Oh, that inexhaustible fountain. The inexhaustible fountain of life. Amen. It just flows and it flows and it flows. Hallelujah. And what we should do this morning, remain as close as possible to this inexhaustible fountain of life and keep on drinking and drinking and drinking. Hallelujah. Don't just stand there this morning. Hallelujah. Drink and, and don't watch other people drink, but you, my brother, yourself, drink as much as possible. You cannot, amen, out drink the, the resources of our Heavenly Father. Nothing we can possibly think of, amen, outside God's ability, nothing that we can possibly think of is outside God's ability. Next, moontlik wat ons kan aan dink, is buitenkant, hallelujah, die beheer van God se ability nie. Alles, God is God's ability Amen, hallelujah. As long as it does not contradict, amen, the word of God, God is able, amen, whatever you need, whatever you desire this morning, hallelujah, God is more than able, amen, to give you the desire of your heart. Let's go quickly now. Now that we are totally overwhelmed by such glorious God, we see that God is able to do all that we ask or whatever we think. Not only is God able to feed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread, amen, hallelujah, and two fishes, He is able to do it in abundance, even with the 12 leftover baskets. Hallelujah. You could imagine, hallelujah, that God fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and only two fishes. And after he fed all those people, 12 baskets was left over. Now you can imagine, my brother and sister, what God can do with another 12 baskets, hallelujah, with bread and fish again. Oh my. Oh, Jesus, help us this morning. He can maar net dink. Wat kan God nou doen met twaalf houwers vol brood en vis? Hy het al reeds net vijf loewe gebruik en twee visies. Wat kan onze God nou doen met twaalf houwers vol vis en brood? Not only is God able to give to Abraham 
and Sarah children in the old age. And this is what I want you to notice. How God, how this inexhaustible fountain, how it floods and how it runs. It just, it just coming and coming and coming. You just have to draw and just have to drink. Not only that God is able to give Abraham and Sarah children in the old age, but he can multiply the offspring as the stars of the heaven. Don't the Bible say that? The stars of the heaven and as the scent that is on the seashore. Hallelujah. That, that's the God that we serve this morning. Amen. Not only does he give them the children in old age, but God can multiply abundantly able. God is abundantly able. It is too, God cannot be limited. God cannot be limited. Hallelujah. God can nie beperkt word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of, 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 of how we feel and how we think. He is the inexhaustible fountain of life. Hallelujah. He is the inexhaustible fountain of life. He, he, he has more this morning. As we close, we will be continuing tomorrow. Hallelujah. He has more in store this morning for you. For me, for your brother next to you, for your sister, for your neighbor next to you. Not just for now, not, the, not only for this year, but for the months coming, the years coming. God has much in store for each and every one. Hallelujah. Amen. Until he comes. Until he comes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Baie dankie, Heere, dat jy genoeg het. For us all, in Jesus' name, Amen.